what's up y'all welcome back to my channel roses um but yes yeah, so i'm gonna go ahead and get started first thing i'm gonna do is prime my face with my maybelline master prime go ahead and conceal my my dark spots with this la pro um la girl pro concealer Go ahead and actually start doing my eyebrows. I'm gonna line my eyebrows with this concealer here. Um, and just, I believe this concealer is Too Faced Concealer. I'm going to go ahead and just blend this in. I'm going to go and fill in my eyebrows with this NYX Brow Gel in the color black. I'll be using this more of a precise Alright, I'm gonna go in with this Beauty Kisses um, concealer. I'm gonna take this color and I'm gonna trace back over my eyebrows because I put that lighting concealer there. This is just gonna clean it up. Now I'm going to go with my Urban Decay Eye Primer and this is what I'm going to use to prime my eyelid before I put on my eyeshadow. So it's exploded on me. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my Too Faced palette. First color that I'm going to use to begin my transition is going to be Summer Young. that on top of my crease Now, now I'm gonna go in with right now I'm gonna go in with charmed I'm sure color right here and that I'm just gonna keep on building on that color I'm gonna put this in my crease This one I'm gonna like 
press it outward. I kind of smudge it up to the side of my eye and then press it outward up towards my eyebrow. Back and forth. And I'm doing this in a gentle motion. I'm not pressing super hard. I'm just kind of like lightly moving back and forth. Go in on the side of my eye, like on. So, I'm gonna be doing like a halo kind of look. So, on the lid of the first lid of my eye, I'm going to do this top derby to me, like sparkly color. I'm going to do this on the lid. Alright y'all, so I'm sorry my camera died. <laughs> so um, basically I went in and I put on my lashes. Um, now I'm just going to go ahead and do my NYX matte eyeliner and I am going to do a winged eye. So now I'm going to go ahead and actually start um, highlighting my face and I'm going to be using my LA Girl Pro Concealer. It is in the color Fawn. In I use a darker color to put on first um, before I put on my foundation. I just think that's like my new routine. I just feel like that makes everything looks look better. Um, it blends everything in better. Looks more uniform, more together. That makes sense. So let me go get some more of this because I'm running out. <laughs> Put it on the side of my nose as well, like right here on the side, so it not look like it's just abruptly stopping and bringing it all the way down to where my cheekbones start. I'm going to blend it all together. Now for my face, I'm going to be using black opal. I'm going to be using 
like opal and it's gonna be in the color black walnut black walnut and beautiful bronze so how I do this is I put the black walnut on first it's the darker color and it just comes out of these two I put that on the outside of my face which tends to be where it's darker put that on the outside of my face and then I put the beautiful bronze the lighter one around it Crazy. I'm gonna take that same beauty blender I used to blend in my concealer. I'm gonna blend that all together. <laughs> I look so crazy. This is the most important step because this is where your makeup and everything is gonna make sense. about this foundation is it's not too heavy it's like it's just perfect it's like it's not too heavy and it's not too like not enough and it's not too creamy so it's good for all your big skin because my skin is really oily oily but for some reason in the summer I like to get dry going to go back in with my lighter then I'm gonna go back in with my lighter concealer my LA girl pro conceal and this is in the color beige and this is what I'm gonna put over on top of that first highlight I'm gonna use my beauty blender Right, so now that I put on that lighter color and I'm gonna go ahead and bake for a little bit and I'm gonna use a dupe to Delora Mercier yeah don't pay attention to my fingers they all crazy but I'm gonna use this makeup revolution luxury powder um, in the color banana I'm going to use that same beauty blender I've been using But that powder stuff I hate is that it can be messy. It can be real messy. But um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that bake. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and do my contour. 
Okay, so for, for my contour, I'm going to go back in with that black oval color and black walnut. I'm going to just put that down. Then when I go in to wipe off the bake banana powder, I'm going to go with my Bare Minerals um, Medium Deep Powder just to kind of take off some of that harshness. And I'm going to dip my brush in there. So just a little bit more. Huh? I heard you. I'm gonna blend in that contour just a little bit more. Then I'm going to go in with my Ruby Kisses in this color. Okay, thank you. Then I'm going to go with this Milani Cosmetics, it's more of a peachy tone, I'm going to go back over that. I'm going to go with my MAC Blunt just to kind of define this contour just a little bit more. wiping off the lips off the foundation everything that's on my face so I can put on lip gloss. This lip gloss is from NYC. It's just like a nice sheer. This ruby uh, black radiance and it's artisan color big bronze and I'm gonna put the I like it because like this nice bronzy color it's pretty let's put it on the um Arc of my brow. 